Ah, uh, yes, Riley, the, the music one. Yeah, the one who's mm. music hit right now. Nice try. Yeah, it was so... Then a master code will whip out a, his broadcasting hey, equipment and be like, I can prove to you with the weather that the acoustics of the world have facilitated us to hear the extra loud burp of Riley. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, who are you guys gonna believe? Me that or was just, Riley? That was just some smart sounding bullshit I pulled out of my ass, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what's Sound really dumb about that, though? Huh. Roll yeah. deception. Because of, like, because of how oh. Discord likes to behave sometimes, because I think I've told this story to, like, some people here yesterday. Fucking, Damn it! I had someone muted in another server. Not gonna talk about who they are because it's not fair on them. But basically, every so often, when I'd rejoin a call that they are in, they weren't muted, even though they definitely were, because the icon was there. So I had to unmute them and remute them to not be able to hear them again. And I had to do that every so often whenever I joined a call with them. So I'd be willing to believe that Discord just decided to not mute a mute person. <laughs> I'm not gonna believe it this time, but I can't. <sighs> Whoa! Oh, Nelly! Are you done? I feel like every time Golden makes a noise, he's like, what'd you break this time? Yeah, there's always something that I'm like, closer, like, fucking up if I'm not careful. Right, did the, oh, did yeah, the Konami right. code blow up your Yoshi? <laughs> what? You know, I, I, I just remembered there's no Prism ability, but you know what ability there is? Uh, the Rainbow Sword. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. The Rainbow Sword? Yeah, it's it's just. I love how you guys are still trying to fight a Kirby for me. <laughs> yes, well, this no. shit's important, woman. Well, first of all, it's not try to find; it's found now because you're definitely Rainbow Sword, whether you say yes or no. I'm, oh, I'm Rainbow. not a Kirby. I'm a weapon, okay? No, that's the power up form. That's okay. the power up. Yeah. That's the power up, yeah. the power up Kirby, Clorox. The Rainbow, Rainbow Sword. sword? Yeah, it's there is it, an actual rainbow sword. Yes, it's in Kirby's Dreamland because that game isn't it, actually in color. That game, that one is so flipping awesome. Damn it! <laughs> oh wow! Uh oh. And uh, what did you do, Ray? It was one of the bonus stages. You're supposed to like open up one of the slots, and if it's Kemic, you automatically lose. It's the second time, and then I found out, oh, there's three of them in the six uh, cards to pick. Ooh. Yeah, it's a dick move, game. Dick move. Penis. <laughs> that's what this game is being. Vagina. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what this game is. <laughs> a vagina? Hello, hello faggots. <laughs> I'm Twitchots. Oh god, he's back. Who? Uh, checkmate, faggots. I'm on my 24th kill of my 25 kill streak. One more kill and it is all over for you. Are you gonna use the nuke? Yeah. Why Gotta call have... in the Moab. Why, why do you have such a good nugget voice? No, I based it off of a- it's a parody of a YouTuber if you've ever seen like Merc- if you, if you haven't, you should. You should. He's like fucking funny, and he play, he plays Call of Duty, but he's again he's extremely funny and extremely likable about it. So even if you don't like Call of Duty, you'll love this guy. Well, he's got this persona called Phase Boost, you know, from Phase Clan, which right. So so like he's not actually a member of Phase. He's just pretending to be one, and he, it's a parody of all these people esport like <laughs> Phase gamers, <sighs> and he speaks like that. Uh -huh. He speaks like that, so I did an imitation. I did a character based on that, like satire, or parody, or parody, however you wish to look at it. Uh, and I made a character, no, 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 a parody no. of that. I made a parody a of parody. his satire. A parody of a parody. A parody. No, 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 not a parody of a parody because Phase Boost is a satire, not a parody. Uh, but, okay, so I don't sound like a total. I know I'm going to sound like a total smartass, but here's the difference. A parody loves the thing it's making fun of. A satire is make it does not like the thing it's making fun of. There's a huge difference. For instance, a satire can be a satire without having any humor. 
Starship Troopers, for instance, is a satire. Most people don't get that. It's a satire of fascism. But most people don't get that because they didn't see any obvious humor, so they thought the movie was totally serious. Hmm. It's a bug planet. Yeah, no, so that, that's... So yeah, you know, if you're wondering... But then everyone had to be told by the director, no, this is a satire. You can have a satire without being funny. But your satire is not funny! So in other words, this... No, that's... But yeah, no, uh... So yeah, if Phase Boost is a satire, then, uh, Trick Shots is a parody of his satire. I get ya. Yeah. This has been the inner workings of media and the meanings of different words that you probably didn't know until now. You're welcome. Thank you for coming also, to Aeon of Dreams TED Talk. <laughs> uh, no, no, this is this is Aeon of Dreams, Aeon of Dreams, the etymologist. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, here's another one. If you say, uh, here's another one. If you say I concur to someone, what you're actually saying is I agree, but for completely different reasons. Huh. <coughs> It doesn't just mean that you agree, it directly Spit implies it in this here. definition you have different reasons. Um, I will keep that in mind the next time I say concur, because I actually do use that word on my run. Me too, yeah. I concur. Oh. Also, uh, the word demon and democracy sounds similar intentionally. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Morty. God damn it. Mm. That one Six was me. <laughs> God damn it, Morty! Why do you, why do you, why do you have to keep doing the imitation to me, Morty? It's, it's, it's clearly not working, Morty. It makes you. Did fun. anyone else catch the uh, Gravity Falls reference in Rick and Morty? No. Yes. Wait, which one? Um, I don't Are you talking about the I cup one with the pole? Uh, no, no, the one with uh, when Stan reactivates the portal, his clipboard, coffee mug, and I think a pencil get thrown through. But in an episode yeah. of Rick and Morty, yeah, a portal opens and those same three items are seen floating out of it. Oh, well, how about that? Nice. There are fan comics of Rick and Stanford talking, too. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I guess Gravity Falls is lucky that one of the members of the Council of Ricks didn't try to look in that wormhole. <laughs> I don't know if they could, because it did imply that there's something about the town of Gravity Falls. Oh, my which God. Is weirdly able to either attract or repel weirdness. Yeah. Ah. Able to keep things weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but you'll to but you'll probably totally understand why if you especially see uh the final four three four parter of Weird Mageddon. Yeah. Uh, is someone getting mad? No, something that irritates the fuck out of me is when a character is stunned and he can't do anything. So is that a yes? Yeah. Me yeah. running out of stamina and okay. dark souls. <sighs> running out of stamina and dark souls and he starts fat rolling. Mm. Um, okay. Now I, I can think I'm out of stamina. I feel really tired now. Oh. It's probably that onslaught of unstoppable laughter that was earlier. Probably. Uh, those grumpy crustaceans look kind of crabby. Shut up. <laughs> Shut <laughs> the fuck up. Uh. That reminds me of that video that that guy who plays Connor from Cyberlife did. I don't know his actual name. But, like, the whole video was him dressed up as a crab, talking about how he was feeling crabby because he had crabs. Because he went to a prostitute whose name translated into the crabs. <laughs> there's hammering oh, a joke too hard, and then there's- and No, then I wasn't there's... trying to hammer the joke. This is a legit thing. I'll find the video. No, I know, but it's like, there's hammering the nail, and then there's just fucking beating it into a pudding. Oh, we're really gonna get on I mean, I just wonder what this dude's life must be like. Like, I wonder how his life's going. Shit, then be like a video based around a crab pun, just, just on a whim. Just thought I might. 
Because, like, how much fun are you or are you not having at that moment? I, I think he's probably yeah. having a great time. Oh, yeah, undoubtedly. Super fun. I kind of, you know, it. watching this music video makes me want to watch Point Break. I know nothing about it other than the, Is the bank the, robbing scene. But... The hair? That's the fucking That's hell! The hell. The surf? No, uh, I, I hear great game it was that movie where they did a bank heist and they all have president masks on them. Yeah, that's yeah, point break. Teach me to surf. Yeah, um, because the midnight that was one of the movies that midnight made a song about, inspired by it called Endless Summer, Endless, which is blaring on the TV right now. Okay, that also, their song Collateral was based on the recent Dread movie. <laughs> Move it. Funny you should mention Point Break. Again, I think that, oh, that I was believe. on the other day on the TV. I didn't stay downstairs to watch it, it was just on. Fuck. Mm -hmm. But I recognize the guys robbing the bank with the president musk. Mm -hmm. The clutcher guy, you don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> What's the adult like... term for crabs? <laughs> no, no my friend, you don't want to know. No, you're you're better off. You're better off, you're better not, off knowing. not knowing. Jinx. Let's just say it's not Alaskan King. I feel like that technically. I feel like that one Correct. scene from Frozen where it's just like somebody's got to tell him. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna tell him. him. No. Don't you dare. Exactly. Exactly. We can still oh, make frozen yeah, jokes in 2020. I'm gonna tell him, don't you dare. <laughs> I feel like I'm- I feel like I'm the I'm gonna tell him and you're all just like, fuck no. Fucking no. <laughs> Do it, Philly. Do it, pussy. I'm just over here pussy. like- I'm just over here like, he, he does the explanation. And then somewhere in the universe, Nicole says, titty. Oh, God. <laughs> now I want to say it less. Again, it's like, now no. that's stopping me from saying it, as well as I don't 100% understand crabs. And what it, like, what the whole thing is, <laughs> I get, I, like, I get it enough to understand it's bad. Do you? You do get it enough. Because it sounds like, it sounds like you don't. And now I'm really tempted to just say it and clear the air. Yeah, I mean, just I... say it. Get that shit out of the way. I mean, I handled them in parasitology, so... Jesus yeah, well... You know what? Yeah, let's... Okay. Why don't you explain it in the most scientific terms possible? Okay, uh, crabs are of the genus Pubis. And I'm dead <laughs> serious. I <know. laughs> Yeah. Done. They are louses that like to spend time in regions. <laughs> <laughs> the air quotes here are so heavily implied that I don't think anybody need to, needs further clarification on what area they're specifying. But they like yeah, to I hang know... out there a lot. Yeah, I know that bit. I just don't know what the full extent of what they do. They're, they're, they, they the same thing the that skin. normal lice do, yeah. They uh. feed off the skin. It's just like what lice does. Yeah. Only, mm -hmm. only in the worst time. They just prefer the warmer climate that's down there. You laugh, but it's 100% accurate. Completely true. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Head lice uh, like, uh, can survive up top, but... Uh, Crabs need a warmer climate, so that's why they're there. Yeah, they gotta get a little more tropical, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to put this in so many air yeah. quotes. I mean, I have There's to no other way around it. Russian. I don't want to be like that. They're, no, wait, wait, guys. I have to pee. imagine if you're Russian, you have an easy fix. You know how many uh, footage I've seen of Russians jumping into an ice lake in the middle of winter and then coming back out with a fish in their hand? Those people can probably never get crabs. You have to imagine, like, touching that water for, like, five sec- No, touching that water for, like, five seconds probably kills them all. 
I mean, of course yeah. they're. Aeon would like to remind you that he is not a medical professional or a doctor. Please do not jump into the ice like you kill your crabs. <laughs> but at the same time. 